Hello, my name is Chris from today. I'm going to show you how to install OpenWRT on Proxmox. This makes it to where you can have a networking operating system like a router and firewall and everything like that. So a little bit about this series is I'm going over a, a, a home lab. So I'm going to go over installing things, getting things running, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So I'm going to start out on the guest that I created and this will be down in the description so you can get to it. Um, so we're going to go to um, the repo for the, um, the operating system. And then I'm going to go down here to root TFS and I'm going to copy this link. And I'm going to go over to my Proxmox and we're going to go in your node and then to your local. And then I'm going to say download from URL right here in the CT templates. I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to carry the URL. Okay, now I'm going to change the name to open WRT. Now I'm going to add a checksum. So Che256. Che so now I'm going to go back over to here. And then I'm going to go to checksums up here. And I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to go back over to Proxmox. I'm going to put in the checksum. And then I'm going to download. Okay, now it's downloaded. The task is okay. So now you can see it right here. And you can see it in your templates now. And you're ready to create a L LXC now. So now I'm going to go back over to my guest and I'm going to create the VM now. So I'm going to uh, say create. Then I'm going to set the ID of the VM to 202. Then I'm going to uh, get the operating system from the CT template. I'm going to set the architecture to AMD64. The, the host name is going to be openwrt-21.02. Uh, root TFS, and then I'm going to set a 20 gigabytes of disk space. The memory is going to be allocated at one gigabyte. The two cores of CPU, and then OS type is unmanaged, and it's going to be unprivileged. So, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go over to my Proxmox. Okay, now I'm going to set up my node shell. And then I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to paste in what I had over my guest and I'm going to press return or enter. It's going to boot up the VM and you can see it booting up over here. Okay, now I'm going to go into it. I'm going to go to summary and then I'm going to go to network. We're going to need to set up a network, uh, two of them. So add, I'm going to do ETHO. Then I'm going to set DHP, but you can set a static IP if you want to. Um, so I'm going to say add. Then I'm going to set up another one, ETH1. And then I'm going to say add. Okay, now we set up two networks. And let's go over to console again. Let's go to start now. Okay, now I'm going to press return or enter. Then I need to get the IP address of this VM. So I'm going to go into IP address. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back over to my tabs. Okay, you can see it's refusing to connect because we got to uh, get it working with the web, web UI now. So now we're going to have to get the port 80 uh, to be open. So I'm going to go over to my guest that I created and we're going to copy this. So ETC config network. And I'm going to um, go over to Proxmox and go, I got a network real quick. It's ETH0 and ETH1 uh, as the names. So I'm going to go to my console and then. Once it connects, uh, I press return or enter. 
and to get it to come up. So I'm gonna cut it out real quick. And you can see that there's no uh, config interface for our interface that we have. So I'm gonna do vim and then, and then I'm gonna go over to my gist real quick. And you're gonna see this config interface LAN. We're gonna set up the LAN bridge. So uh, we're gonna have to change the IP address to the um, the IP address of what you got on the uh, the, the, the Proxmox VM. So I'm going to press I for for editing, and I'm gonna uh, put this down to the bottom, and I'm going to go back over here. It's one two six. So one two six. So this will be the IP address of your LXC that is uh, that ha that has the open art uh, WRT on it. So the interface is going to be LEN. The option is bridge. The option type is bridge. It's going to be ETH zero, and then the pro uh, the proto is going to be static, and then net mask, and then the IP address of your LXC. So escape. WQ. Okay, now that should be saved and we are ready to boot it up and get it running. So once you edit that file, you should be able to go to your IP address. Um, if you do edit that file and you already have your VM started, you do need to restart it and you can go over to your Proxmox, then your open WRT, then up here, reboot, and then yes, and then it'll reboot, and um, then you should be able to go to your IP address now. So I'm gonna go back over to my IP address. I'm gonna say reload. Then your connection not private, self-signed certificate, and IP address. So I'm gonna proceed. And now you can just log in. And now we're up and running, and we have it installed. So I just walked you through step by step on getting open WRT on Proxmox. And uh, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need support, you can go on the Big Bear community or comment down below. And any video suggestions can go on the Big Bear community or comment down below. So I'll let me know what you'd like to see more and stay tuned.